To create details in ArchiCAD, in the toolbox, under the document section, we have a detail tool. And this detail tool can generate drawings from existing elements that have been placed in either plan or elevation. And basically, it's a snapshot of your model. So the work that you do in a detail window is actually in 2D. When you find that when you find that you've modeled everything you want to in your floor plan and elevations and you want to add some intricate detail this is the role that the detail tool has this tool also gives the opportunity to use existing details in dwg format or any other 2d line format that may be accessible via the web or drawings that had been done prior or done with a less sophisticated cad package so to use this tool, first of all we left mouse click on the detail tool and we have a normal quick placing and view options across here but if I double click the main palette we open the default settings dialog. First of all in the general we can actually call the detail anything we like. I'm just going to leave it as detail 01 at the moment. I can also give it a name. At the moment we're going to create a new detail drawing window so if I just push OK and I'm just going to click anywhere at the moment and if I select that once I've placed it the other option comes up link this marker to another available detail so I can actually so, I do, so I'm not always obliged to create a new detail every time I can actually link it to another detail so I don't have to repeat myself and this is where we go and find the other detail so I'm just going to undo that now and name that detail one again then we can change the angle of the marker I'm just going to use a standard detail marker and we can change the font the size of the font the size of the marker and we can work through various other variables in this little palette here just a matter of reading it and filling it in so once you're happy with all that we can go to the detail boundary and we can also put we can also change the type of line going around the detail and then the details is the layer that we're actually on so once we're ready we push OK and using this placement this geometry method I just left mouse click and it's a predetermined size so once you've placed it you can actually still select it but we can't change the size of it if I grab one of these hotspots here I can just change the circumference of it so it becomes more of a circle or more of a square but I can't actually change the size of it it, it tends to move the label if I just delete this however if I use the rectangular method to place a detail I can actually draw the detail any size I like once again it's all got hot spots there I can also place it using a polygon so if I just even though it places a square bubble around it you can see a dotted line that actually has the shape of the true detail and if I just go to one of the elevations or cross section and I wanted to do a detail here I'm going to use a detail marker that I particularly like and that's the Australian detail marker and this detail marker is standard in the Australian version of ArchiCAD and if I place it using this method here the hotspots on it allow us to move the label anywhere we like and the reason I mention this is that this detail marker is just a GDL object and it's quite easy to create your own if you want something quite specific so if I open this detail marker up now here it is here and as you can see in that bubble is what's in the contents of this detail here and this is a 2d environment so it's not linked to the model as such so if I click on anything in here we can see that it's just lines fills so the nice thing about this window is I can change the scale so if I change that to 1 to 50 and I can label things and
and because they're lines and fills I can now edit this the guidelines make this really easy now So then I can just detail that up as much as I like and put more notes on it. And this is not linked to the model. However, if the model moves, I can actually right mouse click on it and select the rebuild from source view. What this does is it updates the 3D elements but won't move any lines. There's still limited updating facilities within the detail window, which is actually a 2D environment. I can also right mouse click on the details window and say create independent detail and if I create an independent detail I can call it whatever I like it might be Eve's detail then I push create and as soon as I push create I've got a new empty detail window and I can put any sort of 2D information that I like in there I can copy and paste any other 2D detail that I like in there or draw a 2D detail from scratch. Now if I close that up, then the right hand side we have all the different icons that make up all the details. This means it's on the floor plan and it's a detail that's this project based and there's two more details there that mean that they're details from the cross section and Underneath there is our independent detail, which means it's not particularly linked to this project. And if I double click on any of those, those details open up. If I right mouse click on any of these, I might just drag the navigator in a little bit. If I right mouse click on any of the details, we can, this is where we can rebuild the detail, rebuild from the source view, and we can also By selecting a detail, we can click at settings and change things if we need to change items regarding that particular detail. So the detail tool basically lets you focus on a particular part of the virtual building and then show an up close detailed view of that. Detailed drawings can be generated from either the floor plan, section or elevation window or else they can be drawn independently and this is where the independent detail marker comes into play. Detailed drawings can be displayed in dedicated detail drawing windows. By using the detail tool, once you place the detail marker, which is a GDL object on the floor plan or section or elevation, the detail marker is displayed according to the settings you make in the detail settings dialog box. So by placing the detail marker, you're actually generating a detail drawing which is then listed in the details section of the navigator. To open the detail drawing, you just basically double click on it. So once you actually create a detail, in the detail window, you can actually add to additional 2D elements like text, labels, and 2D objects to create the detail drawing. A perfect example would be of a 2D object would be this brick marker and that's just a 2D object from the library.